Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to discuss with you um, about Gnostic philosophy and today's lesson I want to talk about what it means to be a Gnostic. So let's get started. First of all, we want to know what is Gnosis according to the interpretation that we will provide today. Gnosis is an esoteric order. Um, in previous times it was a secret order, so it was not uh, publicly available and um, it was considered somehow dangerous to become part of this organization because uh, it was forbidden by many states, including um, some organizations like the Catholic Church at one point was uh, basically eliminating anyone who was not uh, behaving according to their own dictates. So the Gnosis is esoteric in the sense that um, provides um, knowledge that is considered um, revolutionary from the point of view of um, will be able to will enable the, a person to overcome their normal status as uh, let's say ordinary human but it's also a brotherhood it can be considered an army the army of the light some people call it it's also a philosophy so we see a lot of uh, different um, aspects of what it is Gnosis and it can also be considered a religion. A religion from the point of view of the Gnosis is different probably than what everyone else uh, can call a religion. From the point of view of Gnosis, religion is uh, any knowledge that can enable you to become one with God so from the point of view of the Gnosis, uh, you can access God directly without uh, any intermediaries. So that's why uh, the Gnosis can be considered also in this sense a religion because you can access uh, God directly and this is uh, really amazing. It's also, a no and the Gnosis is a discipline because it's um, allowing the person to um, let's say act upon a set of um, activities that will produce uh, specific results so from this point of view Gnosis can be considered a discipline as well and the Gnosis can be also a group originally when I first started uh, studying Gnosis it was um, I was part of a group, a Gnostic group but what I saw in this uh, group and uh, several other groups that I saw that are called uh, Gnostic groups is that uh, there is a lot of misunderstanding in my opinion about the role of the Gnosis and uh, I found that there is a lot of politics and um, in many cases there is even fight among different groups so this is uh, a disadvantage because uh, according to my experience the group is really positive when you work on yourself and you're working alone it is uh, difficult so when you work in a group you have the support of the group unfortunately uh, many groups are not uh, really positive for the development of people. There are many groups that have a lot of uh, fanatic attitudes. Um, then what happens is that people get discouraged and then blame the Gnosis rather than actually blaming the group because the group was probably the problem. So from this point of view, um, the Gnosis can be also an organization or a, boom, a movement the positive part about this is that are, there are groups, uh, internal groups, let's say, 
internal groups I mean in superior dimensions where you can access this kind of uh, information and uh, I plan to support people who are interested in this um, to provide some kind of uh, group support if someone is interested I will um, start to do this uh, so it depends if anyone is asking for this support by because I know that uh, working like this is uh, difficult but Gnosis will really provide everything you need to to change your life so this is in a in a summary what uh, what Gnosis is and this is a very good depiction by this uh, artist called Jofra and um, this is has a lot of symbolism it's really an amazing uh, depiction of uh, what uh, you can call the super ben or the superhuman and uh, i plan to give a lot of uh, information about gnosis i have already uh, given the the basic knowledge in seven seven lessons that you can go through and find on my channel and I, I plan to continue talking more about Gnosis and uh, providing more advanced information for those who are interested so this is really um, a great great philosophy that uh, you can really use to change your life in a positive way so who first of all the um, the question is who can be a Gnostic? In practice anyone can be a Gnostic but um, we need to have some kind of rebellious attitude, rebellious attitude against uh, everything that we consider negative in our own life. So from the point of view of the Gnostic uh, philosophy you need to be someone who is uh, a little bit different from anyone else and feels comfortable being different someone who is curious curious about uh, life about everything someone who is questioning so from the point of view of the gnosis you need to be uh, in this point of view you need to be rebellious because you need to question your own reality really and it's someone who wants to be strong so you can be anyone really you don't need to be perfect actually if you are imperfect it's actually more suitable because you will be more humble to start working on yourself and uh, all you need to do is to have some kind of uh, discipline to work on yourself constantly I'm trying to focus on these teachings mostly for men but many of the teachings I give can be applied also by women but anyway I think that in this day and age uh, a lot of men especially young men are are lost they don't have proper models to follow proper education proper uh, guidance so this is what I want to achieve with these kind of courses with these kind of lessons so this is uh, something that um, will definitely be positive for for any person for any young man who wants to change their life in a positive way and um, there is really a lot to be rebellious about in this current day and age so i consider this something positive but this is um, going to be a different rebellion is not going to be an external rebellion is going to be an internal rebellion which is even more radical in a sense if you can understand this so what can you do with the Gnosis? with the Gnosis we give all the tools all the knowledge to become a real man because according to the Gnosis um, the current state of humanity is such that we are really not uh, really um, how to see embodying the real attributes of what it really means to be a man we are human uh, we are a human being but we still don't have all the attributes to become a real man and we give all the tools to eliminate all the weaknesses that are part of our current uh, current state 
a move from them to become really uh, a king of our own lives and even from the point of view of the Gnosis there is no need to be how to say meek or weak we want to become powerful really to have um, the control over our own lives and um, there is no need to be poor uh, in the Gnosis you don't need to renounce to material possessions you don't need to be some kind of a beggar who lives on the street actually abundance of material possessions uh, is a sign of uh, internal strength so from the point of view of the Gnosis uh, we can actually be become everything that we are capable of and we give all the tools for this uh, essentially in the first lessons that I already uh, provided there is more than enough material for all these um, achievements and I continued after the first seven lessons to provide additional uh, tools and practice uh, that can help uh, achieve especially the awakening of the consciousness because this is really necessary so you can achieve any anything that you really want to and depending on your vocation you can become a priest, magician, guru guru meaning someone who can teach others not everyone can teach others uh, not everyone is called for this you can become a warrior, a hero, a model for others to follow and essentially we can become one with God so we can God uh, God ourselves and this is uh, consistent with um, the Christian religion and in every way uh, you can see how you can achieve this in the most positive way what I want to um, let's say highlight about how, how to be a Gnostic is that balance is the key so in every area of our life we need to find the center we try to be uh, trying to understand and what it means to find the center it means that you need to avoid the extremes even though it uh, seems logical in the point of view of the Gnosis there is a lot of extremism in um, current um, education and uh, mainstream media all kinds of uh, spiritual philosophies talk about extremes so either people are completely bad or completely good but they they don't want to find the center and this can be found in something as simple as uh, for example being a vegetarian or being completely carnivore from the point of view of the Gnosis uh, there needs to be a balance so you can eat vegetables and you can eat meat for example it's a good example because a lot of people debate about whether men should be just carnivore or some people debate oh men should only, only be vegan or vegetarian it's just an example but in essence it is possible to find the balance and uh, to find the center, to understand what is positive and what is going to give a good result in almost everything so there's no need to be a fanatic and uh, get away from the world, live in a cave and don't see people this is why the Gnosis uh, is trying to give all the tools for this and uh, it is uh, actually rather difficult to find the balance, to find the center but this is the goal of the Gnosis really to be a balanced uh, person and uh, to develop understanding for everything all the tools are there so we can just uh, continue to apply them and do it so welcome to the Gnostic order whoever wants to become part of the Gnosis is welcome and uh, I just wanted to assure everyone that it uh, you need some kind of support you can always reach me I have a uh, contact information in the 
episode description so this is uh, an option if that's what you want and uh, it's all I wanted to say for now I want to remind you about the opportunity to help me support my work as content creator in the description of each episode I include information about different platforms you can use to support me with donations if you want to you could you can also um, like share this episode in social media and subscribe i hope to see you again very soon thank you for watching